bust that nut. Where's my big wrench? This break! Pain in my ass! You got a dirt mustache. Do I? <laughs> Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on the Aveo Lexi YouTube channel. You know, I've been a little MIA this summer. I've had a really crazy year, um, but I'm hoping to get a couple more videos in. I do have some pretty crazy news that I'm gonna share with you guys as I'm working on the Aveo today. The daily driver needs a bit of love. There's some weird humming noise coming from, I think it's my front right wheel well. I think it's the wheel bearing. I just jacked the car up and spun the wheel. It does sound like something is loose in there, so we're gonna go ahead and try and tackle that today. I did order just the wheel bearing from Rock Auto. I know that you can order the wheel bearing in the hub, which would have cut this job down a little bit. Um, but me, being the penny pincher that I am, the wheel bearing was $13. The hub with the wheel bearing was $60. So I already know I'm probably going to regret this, but we're going to do our best, like we always do. Now that we've got the wheel off, this axle nut here is 32 millimeters. I know the brake pads are good because I did these not long ago, so we're just gonna take the whole caliper off. That's tightened, great, I love my life. Strong like fool. Nope. Not quite. That's kind of mini. That is nice and up and out of the way. This was the easy part. Now it's going to get increasingly shittier from here. Okay, now we want to get this um, tie rod off, as well as this ball joint under here. This tie rod bolt looks like it's been on there since the dinosaurs roamed, so. Okay. If I get this, I'm the best. Oh. 
Oh, fuck yeah. That's actually easier than I thought. <laughs> Fucker, made it my bed. So good. Yes. Nice. So this actually took a couple hits, not just two. Now there is this lower ball joint here with this nut is what we're gonna remove now. Sorry for the bad angles. So we're gonna have to do double wrench technique here. Just kidding, I got it without, cause I'm the fucking strongest. This job is going way easier than I thought it was going to, and I'm a little suspicious. <laughs> but mind you, we haven't got to the part where we need to press stuff in and out, so. So, some big news that I'm just gonna throw in here while I'm doing this is my husband and I have decided that we are moving to Australia. We decided this uh, back in the new year of this year. So we actually leave in about seven weeks. If you're a follower or a subscriber from Australia in here, make sure you check in in the comments. We will be arriving beginning of November. Unfortunately, the skyline is not coming with me for the time being. No, I am not selling it. No, it's not for sale. But I do plan to do car videos on this channel while we are in Australia. I also started a second channel that is going to be more lifestyle and Australian adventures that aren't car related. So if you'd like to follow us along on that channel, I will um, either link it somewhere here if I can or it'll be in the comments. I mean the bio, the description of the video. I know Australia has a big car scene just because um, Japan is actually quite nearby so I'm really excited to see what it's like down there. So it sucks that I'm not gonna have the skyline there but depending on how long we decide to stay, if we decide to stay super long term, I will look into shipping the car down. I will be storing the skyline somewhere here in Canada for the foreseeable future. But don't worry, the videos aren't done yet this year. I'm hoping to get one or two more videos out of the skyline before I actually put it away, before we move. I'm gonna try and loosen the axle nut from inside the whole hub here with a jaw puller. So we've got it on and I'm going to, what fits in here? This way for sure. Now we have to get these bolts off of the strut here. So I've got the bolts loose on the strut here. I'm just going to try and make sure I can get this ball joint out and then we will pull this whole knuckle off, hopefully. Oh. Yeah, okay. So now that that's loose, Why? Like, why am I doing this? Oh, 
this. Ah. Oh, yeah. Wow, very well done, babe. I just said this is going way too simple. Something loose in there. Okay, that was the easy part. Thumbnail. So I checked the tie rod and the ball joints in here. They still feel really tight and good, so we don't need to replace those, thankfully. This was all the easy parts. We have to actually now press um, the hub out of this knuckle and then press the old bearing out of the hub and then do it backwards. So we are actually heading to a shop where they have a hydraulic press, which should make this a little bit easier, but I feel like that's going to be um, the bulk of this job. So we will see you at the shop. Here we are at undisclosed location to use the hydraulic press, thanks to a good friend, a very good friend. I don't know what the audio is gonna be like in there just because it is a shop, so it's probably gonna be quite noisy, but I'll make sure I film the setup that we do on the press. Maybe do a voiceover if I need to. Wish me luck. I didn't hear the sirens. I didn't wanna see the warning signs. The price, yeah. Oh, I should know. It hits me like a tidal wave every time you say my name. What's happening? I'm making it down. Oh. oh. It's going! Oh my god, you should take a photo or video or whatever. It's on video. <laughs> I feel like there's no way. <laughs> Set up. <laughs> Good god. Keep going before it stops working. Ah. Oh yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, real nice. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is even worse than that, guys. There goes the berry. Oh. <laughs> I hope that was recording. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope we caught that explosion on camera, but this is the seal that holds all the balls individually. Why is this not focusing? Hold on. Like see each one of these little like... So I was right in assuming <laughs> that something was wrong. Uh, <laughs> well, great. the new bearing in finally this should be a little bit easier Sounds a little scrapey. 
They're brand new, maybe it needs to get worn in. <laughs> You did buy the cheapest bearing. Awesome. No, I didn't. No? No. no. Okay, so that got a little hectic there, pressing everything back together. So what I had originally thought is with the wheel studs at the bottom like this, and then pressing in from the top on this um, inner metal piece here. Uh, but then Josh said that you don't want to support from down here because you could bend these, and then that's obviously going to be a way bigger problem. So we ended up pressing it from here and not supporting the metal piece under here. When we got it all together, there was actually some play in here. Thankfully, there was an automotive tech um, at the shop when we were there, and he told us that you actually have to support the middle center piece here. So we actually got lucky and were able to do a little bit there and it actually work. So usually if you do it that way, you'd have to have a whole new bearing. So just praying that when we put this back in the car right now, it's gonna sound fine. <laughs> but don't make the mistake we made. You wanna have something under here so it's not sitting on the wheel studs and press it in from this center piece. We are losing daylight here, so... We are losing daylight here, so I am just going to put this all back together and make it... Blah, blah, blah. We are losing daylight here, so I'm just gonna put this all back together and then maybe take the car for a quick spin, make sure everything uh, sounds decent, and then I'll check back in with you at the end. This is me checking in the next day. I lost light. I was actually in the driveway until about 9.30 last night, run into a couple of minor issues with threading, putting everything back together, but drove the Aveo today and the sound is gone, which is super awesome. So I would call this job a success, which I'm very surprised about. I didn't have much faith, but I'm super proud of that. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to follow the other channel that I will link down in the description if you want to follow along with more lifestyle videos on our way to Australia. Otherwise, keep tuning in here for more car videos. See you in the next one. Something loose in there.